Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram can be used to represent events graphically. Frequencies or probabilities can be placed in the regions of the Venn diagram. So the Venn diagram, the rectangle, which I've highlighted in red, it represents the sample space. The sample space. So the rectangle represents the sample space. And that's why you have the S at the top right there. That means everything of which it contains. And it contains, inside the rectangle, it contains these two closed curves. It might not be two. Sometimes you can have three closed curves inside the Venn diagram. In this case, we have two closed curves. They are inside that rectangle, which is the sample space. And for the events A and B, event A, event B, this event here with the yellow shaded in the middle is the intersection of A and B. And you can write it as A intersection B. It represents event that occur in both A and B, something that happens in both A and also happens in B. The event A or B, which we can write as A union B, that's the symbol. It represents the event that either A or B or both occur. That means A or B or both occur. And number three, the event not A. Not A, we call it complement of A. It represents the event that A does not occur. So everything outside A, that's what it means. Everything outside A. So the probability of not A, probability of not A is one minus probability of A. And the way to think about it is probability of A plus probability of not A is equals to one because all the probability adds up to one. So how do we get probability of not A? We make probability of not A the subject. Probability of not A would be one minus probability of A. And that is what is written there. So we call this A complement of A. Sometimes they write it like that with a dash at the top. In a class of 30 students, seven are in the choir, five are in the school band, and two are in the choir and the band. A student is chosen at random from the class. Draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. But B, find the probability that the student is not in the band and the student is not in the choir or the band. So we have got the rectangular box represents the sample space, everything. So we write S there, the sample space. So the number which are both in the, the two represents the number which are both in the band and the choir and is found in the intersection. So that two represents the number which are both in the band and the choir. And this region represents the events in the sample space that are not in C or B. So the events which are not in C or B, these ones here. The ones I've shaded, things which are not in C or B. So we can have 30 minus 
3 plus 2 plus 5. 3 plus 2 plus 5 gives you 10. 30 minus 10 is 20. So that's how we got the 20 there. So 3 plus 2 plus 5. You add all of them. Gives you 10 and then 30 minus that. So that gives you what's outside. And then... Outcomes which are not in B. This is B I'm circled. What is outside B is the 5 and the 20. 5 and 20 are outside B. So outcomes which are not in B is 5 plus 20 is equal to 25. So that's what is not inside D. So, so probability of not B is 25 students who are not in B divided by the total of 30 students. So 25 who are not in B divided by the total, which is 30. And you simplify it to five over six. Probability that a student is not in the choir or the band is not in B or in C there are 20 students who are not in the choir or band out of 30 students. So 20 divided by 30, the cross out the zero, it gets two out of three. A vet surveys 100 of her clients. She finds that 25 own dogs, 11 own dogs and fish, 10 own cats and fish, 7 own dogs, cats and fish, 40 own fish, 15 own dogs and cats, 53 own cats. A client is chosen at random. Find the probability that the client owns dogs only, does not own fish, does not own dogs, cats, or fish. So to do this type of question, I will start by using the numbers. I've drawn it in the pink diagram there, using the numbers up to 100 before we change it to, to decimals. So there's 100, always start in the middle. What number goes in the middle? And I've colored it there in yellow. There are seven dogs, seven own dogs, cats and fish. Seven goes in the middle. Now, the next thing is between dogs and cats. Between dogs and cats, it says 15 own dogs and cats. If there's seven in the middle, 15 minus seven, it gives you eight. So between dogs and cats, 15 minus seven, it gives you eight. So there's eight goes in there between dogs and cats. And then it says 11 owns dogs and fish. So between dogs and fish, this should be 11. But if we know seven in the middle, so 11 minus seven, it gives you four. Because there's seven in the middle, 11 minus seven, it gives you four. So there's four between dogs and fish. And 10 own cats and fish. So for cats and fish, this middle part should be 10. But if we have 7 there, 10 minus 7, it gives you 3. So that's 3 in there. Now it says 25 own dogs. So go into the circle for dogs. There should be 25 in total. But we know there's seven there, there's eight there, there's four there. We add them together. Eight plus seven plus four. Take that away from 25, it gives you six. 53 own cats. So inside the circle for cats, the total should be 53. So we know eight plus seven plus three. Take that away from 53 you get 35. So there's 35 there for cats only. 
And for fish, we have four plus seven plus three. And we take that away from 40, it gives you 26. And how did we get the 11 outside? This is people who do not own dogs, cats, or fish. So we add everything in dogs, cats, and fish and take that away from 100. So we have 100 minus 6 minus 4 minus 7 minus 8 minus 3 minus 26 minus 35. It gives you 11. Now we can now change it to decimals. So 6 is the same as 6 divided by 100. It gives you 0 0.06. 8 divided by 100, 0 0.08. 7 divided by 100, 0 0.07. 4 divided by 100, 0 0.04. 26 divided by 100, 0.26, and so on. So probability of own dogs only. How many people own dogs only is 6. So it's 6 out of 100. 6 out of 100 is 0 0.06. Probability of does not own fish. Probability of does not own fish plus probability of owning fish is equals to 1. So probability of not own fish plus probability of own fish is equals to 1. So if you take 1 minus the probability of fish, probability of own fish is 40. So 40 out of 100 is 0 0.4. 1 minus 0 0.4, it gives you 0 0.6. Probability of does not own dogs, cats, or fish. That means does not own dogs, cats, or fish. You remove all of those. It's 11 out of 100, which is 0 0.1. Now you can press pause and have a go at this exercise 5B.